On Ice Hockey UK TV, in association with McDonald's, we're very specially allowed in the GB dressing room while some treatment is going on ahead of training. A mystery GB player as well. See if you can guess who it is. And I'm joined by Robin Krebin, the GB sports rehabilitator. Robin, just uh, talk me through at the moment what you're doing uh, to this mystery player. <laughs> well, basically, she's uh, just struggling a little bit with the legs, so we're just trying to make sure she's okay for the... Uh for the game tomorrow and also make sure she's okay for training. Does this have something that would happen regularly? Is it sometimes you'll get dozens of players coming to your door or sometimes one or two? I guess it just depends on the state of their bodies going into the game. Yeah, 100%. I mean, the players this year, they've been, uh, they've been great with their off-ice fitness. and um, it's, We've done less massages, less recovery sessions this year, but it just all, it's all down to the player and what they want and what they need. One thing you've introduced is a wellness diary, and I've noticed every morning that the girls have been bringing down forms to, 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 for you that they've filled in and you've been analysing. Just talk us a bit through, through what they involve. Yeah, well, basically, we've got 10 different things on the wellness diary, seeing how sore they are, seeing how fatigued they are, seeing how well they've slept and how hydrated they are, what the food nutrition's like. So, yeah, the, we basically put everything together and see how the team are doing on an average and see if us, like the rehab team or the coaches, can do something about it. And also something I know that you believe in and is very important, uh, important is baseline scat testing. Again, to people who perhaps don't know what that means, just to explain how important that is. Well, um, with concussions being very prevalent in every single sport, ice hockey being, the one, being one of the highest uh, concussion rates, we try to baseline scat test every single athlete in, uh, in the programme and been lucky enough to get enough time to do baseline scat testing and making sure that we've got something that we can go back to if they do have a head injury and we can make sure everything's done properly with the re graduated return to play. And also, many people will know you as a, as a player and as a coach. Your career has really escalated over the years from being a player to a coach. Just Again, just talk us through a bit of your, your good times on the ice as, as player and coach. Yeah, well, um, mainly my whole... Career was basically spent at Altrincham until it's short, and then went over to D side and Sheffield played ENL, EPL, and then when I finished playing myself, I coached the Altrincham Aces recently, which was fantastic. Love the boys. Okay, thanks, Robin. We'll catch up with him a little bit later on as well when we see the warm down, the cool down session for the Great Britain players. But now let's catch up with some more players from the camp. George, you just had a, a massage with Robin Krebin. Just, just talk us through how important those sessions are for when you're about to go on the ice. Um, I think they're, they're great. They flush my legs out, get me ready, feel a lot better after, so I can uh, perform properly on the ice. How important are the off-ice staff to the team when you're in such an intense tournament? I think they're really important. Um, they help us with our stretching, our warm-up, our cool-down, everything that we need basically to be 100% on the ice at all times. Not just the, you know, the staff there with the massages and the physio, obviously JC as well, who, talking to the girls, seems a really popular fellow. Oh, JC, we love him. We love his songs, you know. And uh, he keeps us tidy in the locker room. He's, he's a bit strict, but we like him. <laughs> Okay, yesterday's victory saw GB win by 4-1. to one. Just talk us through the game. It was another confident and professional performance, I thought. Yeah, we, we came out to do a job and uh, the coaches really analysed Slovenia down to a T and we did what we were told to do and most importantly, we played as a team. And I think that's what got us through to the end of the, the game, really. It was a special moment for you. It's your 57th cap. It, it took you to the leading all-time cap leader for Great Britain. Is that something that, that you feel very special to have achieved? Yeah, obviously it's very special. Um, I love playing for GB every year. Uh, didn't expect I'd get that, but happy days that I did. And how important is it for everyone to, to stay grounded now? Because there's a, a massive game against Netherlands just around the corner. But how important is it just to sort of calm everyone down? Because there must be excitement in the camp. Yeah, obviously there's going to be excitement. There's going to be nervous and... Uh, I think, I think we'll be fine. Today's a, a great day to have a rest day. We can regroup and uh, go back at it tomorrow. And then we're going to drop it to 50%, 50% okay? So when I say start, go to 100 and then go with 50%. Ready? Let's go.
So on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with McDonald's, we're now at the cool down session with Robin. Robin, just talk us through what's important here. Uh, basically, they've been on the ice for a good good session, so we need to make sure that they uh, get a good cool down, so we're recovering for tomorrow. That's and, and, and how in, you know, will this just be quite relaxing or will you wrap up any intensity? Uh, there's not going to be too much intensity because we've got a big game tomorrow. We just want to try and make sure that it's stretching, getting all the lats casted out of their muscles and making sure they're ready for the big game. Let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, same again, we ready? Activate, let's go. Okay, make sure you're squeezing those glutes, make sure you're activating that core. Drop it down to 50% and relax. Okay, next one what we're going to do, we're going to activate our cores and then we're going to do gentle core rolls, okay? So feet together, ready? Let's go, activate. Good, good. Keep moving ladies. Nice, that's it, keep moving. Five more seconds and relax. So while Robin carries on with his warm down session on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with McDonald's, we're joined by Charlie Keane, the sports therapist. Charlie, um, hello, and how are things going? But what I'd like to talk to you about is, is your official role with the team. Just, just let us know what you do with the team. Oh, so um, I'm here mainly to support Robin um, and help with any, um, any off ice and, and on ice um, procedures that he has to deal with throughout the week and it's also nice to be here as a, as a female therapist um, it's good to get in the locker room with the girls and be that support that they might need kind of more female attention rather than the, the male support system um, but I do everything Robin does um, we do it together as a team and uh, we work pretty well just talk us through what a typical, you know, as, as brief as you can, I guess, because it's so many things, but what would a typical week entail for you while you're away with the team? Uh, so, so at the beginning of the week, it's about keeping them supple and um, prepared for the games ahead. Um, as we move into the games, it's really important to make sure that uh, we provide um, appropriate and adequate recovery systems for the girls, um, keeping kind of morale high, as well as keeping them in shape, um, flexible, pain-free, or relatively pain-free. Um, and then as we move on to the end of the week, it's really about getting them prepared to go back to home life, uh, recovered and, and settled back down. I guess it's quite a busy seven days and there's not much downtime because the, the girls are already needing, always needing some sort of treatment or some sort of attention really. Yeah, I mean the girls get their downtime and unfortunately for us um, their downtime is our busiest time. They like to utilise the recovery systems and rightly so, that's what we're here for. Um, but we get, we get enough rest and the girls they, as I said, they use the rest time really well. Um, they're a good bunch. They know what they need to be doing and they do it perfectly.